lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we're going to look at how we can use our contour tool in Design Space to change text. So I've got four different fonts here and sometimes you may want a font the way it is and sometimes you may find it's too fussy or you want to cut it quite small and the way these are, especially this one here, would be quite difficult if it was small but you like the actual base of the font. So an easy way of changing it and removing bits you don't want is to use the contour tool to come in and try and slice some of these small circles away and these small cuts would be an absolute nightmare. So we're going to use the contour tool to change each of these fonts. So the first font we're going to look at is this is a font called Rush Ink and it's from Creative Fabrica. And if I wanted to do this as a small cut, it would be an absolute nightmare. There's no two ways about it. It would just be awful to weed and you'd end up losing a lot of these small cuts anyway. So why bother cutting them? We're just going to remove them. The first thing you need to do is weld your text if you want to be able to contour it. At the moment, these are individual. Although you've typed them as one and they will stay as you place them, Design Space is treating them as if they are individual cuts just attached together. So we need to weld them. Once welded, the contour tool then becomes available. So if we select contour, so the first thing I want to do is zoom in just so I can see a bit clearer and you can see all these individual little pieces. No, sometimes you may want that if you're doing it really big and you want it to be really effective, but if you just want the base font, just a nice easy way of doing it is to hide all contours. It's going to leave you with the base of one of your letters. We can then select the main part of our letters without having all those fiddly little pieces in there. And of course, if you want to add some of them, so for example, if I wanted this piece here, I can select it and bring it back and the same with this piece here and the same with this piece here. And equally, if I wanted this to have a bit more to it, I could select this one and do it that way or I can keep it completely solid. And that has completely cleaned up that font. It's certainly not as distressed as it was. I haven't got all those little cuts. I haven't had to come in and individually slice them away. Nice and simple and easy. So this is the font Bourbon Label. I got it in a design bundles bundle or a font bundles bundle, I should say, uh, quite a few years ago, but it will probably still be on there or you'll be able to find it in somewhere like Creative Fabrica. Again, let's say, for example, I wanted to keep the diamonds, but I want to get rid of the circles and I only want one of the flourishes. Now, I could get shapes weld them over the circles and I could of course come in and try and slice these away. The bottom ones will be easy but these ones will be a little bit harder. So all I'm going to do is obviously weld it and then I can select and open up my contour tool. Again let's zoom in. So the first thing is I want to remove all the circles. So I simply just need to select them or deselect them as the case may be. So that's all the circles gone. Now, sometimes if you've got a big image, the contour box will always come up in the middle of the screen. And you're probably thinking, well, I can't see. So just a trick is before we remove the lines, we're just going to close that down. And you can see I've actually not taken out the circles completely. So what I'm going to do is just reduce that down. It's not going to make any difference to the contour because I can still zoom in. I'm going to bring it across to the other side of the screen and then open up my contour. If we just zoom in, it doesn't matter how big the actual font is. I can now see what I'm actually adding and removing. Again, I want to remove one of these flourishes. So we're just going to remove the outer layer. So we're only left with the one. And all I'm doing is simply just clicking on them. I also want to remove one of these from the middle of the zero. So all I can do is select that and you'll see it's then gone. And equally, if I want to bring it back, I can. And again, 
nice and easy, simple to do. We've changed the way that that font looks. If we were going to cut it small, we've made it a lot easier to cut and also to weed as well. So this is the font Amber Whiskey Shadow. Again, I got it from a Font Bundles bundle, but it will be available on Font Bundles or you'll be able to find it somewhere else, I'm sure. This has got lots and lots of little shadow cuts in it, which is fine if I was doing it large, but again, if I was going to do it small, I'm not going to lie, it's going to be a bit of a pain. And actually, I may not want all of them. I may only want C with the zero there, zero, with the O. I may only want this area and this area, and then with the V, maybe just this area and this area. So you can completely change the way it looks. Again, we're going to weld it, select, and then go to contour. Because there are lots of little cuts in this, and I'm going to completely change it, I am going to actually reduce it down first and then bring my contour box up. So you can see I've zoomed right into 193% on this one. There is a lot of little lines. So the first thing I'm going to do is just hide all contours. Rather than going in and removing all the bits I don't want, which can sometimes take longer than actually adding the bits you do want. So my way of doing it is I remove everything and then I just bring back what I want. So I'm going to hide all contours and bring back the main bulk of the letters. So sometimes it can be a bit of a struggle to get the individual pieces up, especially when you're dealing with lines like this. So if you actually come over to this panel and you work out where two or three of them are, like this bunch here, Normally, if you click around that area, you'll then start bringing some of the others back. And once again, we've completely transformed the way that this font looks. Equally, if we wanted to get rid of all of those, we can. And we can change our mind. We can go back in and recontour. So now I've decided that actually I don't want any of those lines. I just want the base. So I'm going to go back into contour. Again, nice and easy, hide all contours, and then just bring back those base pieces. Using the contour tool just makes this all so, so much easier. So this is my last font. This is a Denium, a beautiful, beautiful font available from Creative Fabrica. Now, you'll notice that it's gonna work slightly different with this font. Because the flowers are actually intertwined in the letters, if we remove them, we're going to have pieces of our letters missing. Because they are in the letters, it's a little bit more tricky. You could try and fill in some of the spaces by welding. Really, with a font like this, you just want to make it easier on yourself. So like removing a lot of these kind of unnecessary flower cuts will make it easier. I'm not going to do all of them, we'll just work on the L, but if we go to weld, then contour. Now sometimes you do have to be careful with the contour. If you select a piece which is connected to other pieces, you are going to lose the bulk of your piece. So for example, if we select these stems here and we click on it, we're going to actually black out the whole of that petal. I don't want that, so some of them you are going to have to keep. But the ones that aren't attached to anything, you can simply just click them and remove them. Another way you could do it is to, again, hide all contours, so remove everything except for one of the letters. So you then want to select your letters, so in this case the L. And rather than actually removing pieces, we're going to add them back in. And rather than removing all the little pieces, we're just going to add back in the petal areas. Again, you can use this panel down here to make it easier. So rather than bringing back, say, these pieces, which are just spines, if you click on the actual image pieces, you can clearly see their petals. It will make it a lot quicker and a lot easier for you. And again, we've cleaned that up, we've made it easier to work with, we've made it easier to weed, 
and it just looks like it's not going to be a complete mess once it's cut. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this has helped you to see how you can change your fonts to make them more suitable for what you want to use them for and to actually change the way they look as well. Please do make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!